All right. Well, I believe we are live. Um, as everybody knows, this is in sums a low budget entry into a YouTube channel. Sometimes we have somebody helping me out today. Today, um, we've got a little bit of a, 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 a misstep. It's just me at the controls. So let's see how this goes. Welcome to Apex Instant Tips, episode number 139, brought to you most Fridays at 12.05 Eastern. We are your hosts. I'm Anton. And I'm Marwa. Thanks. Good to see you again, Marwa. Um, Thank uh, you. <laughs> as you know, Marwa, we, we have a very active uh, message board at Insum, and people are able to just ask questions of anyone. And we got a really good question this week. And so this week's question um, really kicked off today's uh today's tip. So I'm going to go ahead and add Martin to the, the group. Martin, you had a question. Welcome to Apex Instant Tips. Yeah, I'm glad uh, I'm glad I'm here. Thanks for having me. So, um, uh, well, as I'm sure you know, uh, we do a tip in five minutes. Um, so we'll see if we can get today's tip in. There's a lot to it. But first, why don't you why don't you describe to us what the question was about? And uh, and and then we'll kick off how to solve it. Yeah, so my question was about the, let's take a select list or pop-up love. And if we want to have, if we want to display only active one. So we but, have one here for color and we only want to show the active colors is what you're saying. So we can see here, yeah. cyan is not active. So yeah, so we should have, we should hide cyan Right, in, so in that's what I need to do, right? All I have to do is, this is my my list of values. All I have to do is put the active YN equal to Y, hit apply changes, and that should that should take care of it, right? Yeah, it's not as easy as that, but you, you will see when you refresh the screen. Oh. So you see now I have the primary key ID from the inactive uh, value. Oh, right, and if I come here, the same story. Yeah, I was able to fix it in the page item, but in the interactive grid, I was not able to to yeah to 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 know what I was doing is like putting in parentheses inactive values and adding let's say a validation to say to the user, well you can you can only select active ones. First, tell me how did you solve it for this? Yeah, so for the page item, what I did is I you can create like a union. So we, create, you, we created a new list of values. Yeah, a new list of values where, yeah, I did like I'm selecting all the active one plus with the union, the one inactive and the current one that the user have uh, in his database in the in the row. So this can be very specific to this page, page five. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. So if you you want to use the share component on more than one pages, you you need to right. So we can put this one back really quickly just to make sure that we put this one back. We'll s apply that change. We'll go to page five. We'll use the new one uh, right here. And uh, oops, we're gonna go to our list. Anton, should yeah. you start the timer? Oh, I probably should, uh, shouldn't I? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll start the, the timer right now. Um, okay. So there we go. So we won't cheat anymore, but here we have it. So now we we set this one back. It works just fine. When we come here, it shows cyan because it matches that list of values. And when we come here, it doesn't show cyan. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. Now, but, but what we did is this one is still showing cyan all the time, right? So we still have cyan here. So we want to try, apply a similar thing for the interactive grid. Exactly. Yeah. So you might think that all you have to do is create another, um, another uh, list of values, and we're going to do look at it right here, IG one, and theoretically you can just reference favorite color ID because that's the column that we're looking at. So we could just use this one, color ID one. So this is going to be our list of values here. So all we, we would think that all we have to do is come put that here. So let's get, give that a try. So I'm going to edit this page and go here. And I'm going to use that new list of values, IG1, save it and run it. But 
now I don't see cyan here. And down here, I, I'm getting the number. So it's not, it's not working. Mm. Right? That's the problem you had. Exactly. Yeah. There is a great little trick for solving this. It is so easy when I show it to you, you are going to think, oh, I should have thought of this. Okay, so it's all about the cascading parent column. So if we put a column in here, a parent column, even though there's no parent column, it doesn't yeah. matter. We can just put any column in here. I'm gonna choose ID, but we could put any column here. What we need to submit is the favorite color ID. Now we're submitting that favorite color ID and so it will work just like we want it to. Okay, the now, share, yeah, with, the share component will see. Yes. So now when we come in here, you can see it did a little refresh and it got it. Cyan, a little refresh, it got it. No cyan here. Okay. Yeah. So that is the absolute key element is you need to have a cascading list of values, even though it's not really cascading, but yeah. And, and in fact, it doesn't matter what column we put here at all, right? Because it's just going to force a cascade. Mm -hmm. So what do you yes. think? I find this very smart. Uh, but I have a question quickly, Anton. What if you change this value to orange, for example? OK. OK, so now it's the orange value, but we did not hit Save button. Okay. What if I want to put back the cyan? color instead of orange which is the the old value actually it disappeared from here ah uh, yes because i haven't saved this i should i, I like where you're going with this marwa yes so, i should be able to put it back uh-huh well the solution for that is in that case it does matter what we put in the parent column because if we use id here we can actually reference that in a different list of values. I'm going to go to my IG color two. It's almost the same list of values that we just showed. But now, because that data hasn't been saved in the database, I can do this. I can get that favorite color based upon that, that person's ID. I'm not sure if this is absolutely clear to everyone, but what I'm doing is I'm saying, give me all of, all of the active colors plus the inactive color for that specific person, right? So if we do this and we make, and we change our list of values now from the first one that we had here, IG1 to IG2, and we run it, we're gonna get exactly be the behavior that Marwa is looking for. We have cyan, if we change cyan to a different color, orange, and then we come someplace else, we've refreshed this one. When we come back here, it's going to refresh, but it's going to pick up cyan again because cyan is in the database for that person. Yes, it is in the query, actually. It's coming from the query since we have submitted yeah. the, the, uh, the value of the ID. I think that this is, a, this is something that I think so many people will run into. Once you understand that it's all about that, that parent ID, it's super easy, but it's, it's a trick, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Maybe we should call this but instant, but, instant but, tricks. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm all covered with that solution. Yeah, I'm able to make it work for any pop-up love or select list. You can use it for, for both. And it yeah. Will, and it yeah. Will work in, fact, in fact, this, this particular pop-up, this particular LOV is often reusable. The other one you can only use on page five. This one tends to be a little bit more reusable. So. Yes, and I think this way you you won't have to add the validations on that column to uh, to compare the value that the user selected and uh, if it is active, inactive, and display an error message. You can simply uh, omit these values from the select list, and this way you won't add validations uh, on your page. Yeah, you don't need it. Well, I always like validations, honestly, but uh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you, you, it, it, it certainly makes it not as, as required. Um, so here, I'm going to point out, uh, we've got a question here. So if I change this to orange, and then I come over here and I change it to olive, I can still go back to cyan because I haven't saved this record yet, right? But if I change this to black, and then I save it, 
Now I can't go back to Cyan because it's no longer saved as Cyan. So that's exactly right. It's mm -hmm. because you, the idea is maybe I just made a mistake, right? It, it, when I was doing this, I want to be able to go back. But once you save it, that's it. You can't go back, right? Um, so uh, there you go. Um, Angel, and you don't need to submit the ID. How will the IG work if you if not the ID in session? Um, you you don't need to submit the ID if unless you're doing it the way we're doing it right now. The if you if you don't want to allow the person to go back, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it we get two scenarios. In the first scenario, it didn't matter what the ID was because we weren't using it. We were using the favorite color ID. In this new scenario, we don't actually need the favorite color ID because we're not using it. Right. What you really need. What you really need here is whatever you have in your list of values, right? So this, in this case, I'm using the ID column, right? And this ID column is the ID column of the person, not the color, right? This, this ID in our query is the ID of the person, not the color. Um, so I think that is, is what Angel's uh, asking about. Um, so, um, there's a lot going on here. Um, I'm thinking that at least one person is probably going to rewind this and watch it again. <laughs> um, but uh, Apex Incident Tricks brought to you every Friday. <laughs> Martin, thanks so much for this, this question. I think it was a, a, a really good one. I think it's something that so many people um, are going to benefit from. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, so thanks yeah. again yeah, for your solution. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. I'm, I'm glad it helped you out. Um, so, um, so last week uh, I talked about having just experienced an earthquake and saying I don't even know what to do in in an earthquake. So today's off-topic tip I promised from last week was we would talk about what are you supposed to do in an earthquake. Um, and I'll tell you, I did a little research, and it was not what I expected. Um, so. Assuming you live in a modern building or you're, you're in a modern building, um, the, America, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control says don't run out of the building. They say, really? they say stay in the building. I actually have it up here. I can show my screen. Um, so I'll share my screen. It says if you are inside, stay inside. Do not run outside. This is, assumes you're in a modern building. If you're, if you're you know, in your cabin up in the woods or something like that. Maybe it's a different story, right? <laughs> but, uh, but don't run outside um, as quickly as you can. Move away from some glass. Uh, you know, they say don't even stand under a doorway. Don't do that. Get under a table or something like that. Um, turn off the stove. Good one, right? <laughs> um, and if you, if you have time, grab something to shield your face from broken glass. Um, wow, I did not expect that. I was thinking maybe the first thing to do is to run outside, but that could take some time and mm. that could be potentially dangerous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so if you so, are inside, then stay inside. So, I mean, I didn't do anything except text my wife and say, uh -huh. <laughs> do you feel that? <laughs> but uh, next time I'll look for a table to get underneath. Uh, Me too. Definitely. I'll ask a little more quickly. Um, so, um, so if this tip, tip helps you and saves okay. your life, let us know. <laughs> yeah, another <laughs> good tips. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, Martin, thanks so much for joining us this week. Ah, thanks again for having me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, we got Brian uh, says that in the 90s, the advice was to go into a doorway. Um, seems uh, up, little updates. Um, maybe the buildings weren't as built as well in the 90s. Um, my house is from the 1800s, so um, who knows what to do in this. <laughs> All right. Well, people have wasted a perfectly good 14 minutes listening to us. Um, go back to your lunch. Do all the things. Subscribe. Write a letter. Tell your mom about the show. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice weekend.